We said to build a nuclear reactor. Like at home? Sure. Grab some plywood from Home Depot and let's build a reactor. Nuclear reactors are among the most regulated, analyzed, and licensed machines ever built. You don't build one. You design, license, and operate it under national law. First thing you want to do is find a good place to build it. I'd recommend a large open landscape to fit it all, but if you're cheap, you can use your garage. No. Site selection alone takes years. Geology, seismic risk, flooding, population density, and emergency planning zones all need to be evaluated. You might as well be asking to store spent fuel next to your hot water heater. Before you start building, make sure to stock up on some nuclear fuel like uranium or plutonium. Ooh, plutonium. Instant felony. Also, that's not plutonium. Reactor fuel is low enriched uranium fabricated under extreme quality control. You don't stock up on it any more than you stock up on rocket engines at Home Depot. Next, you gotta construct the reactor vessel. For this, I'd recommend a low alloy steel to withstand extremely high temperatures. Okay, better. But temperature is easy. Fast neutrons destroying steel crystal lattices while the reactor is operating is the real problem and requires significantly more advanced forging than what you can do in your shop. Make sure this reactor vessel also has control rods, fuel assemblies, and coolant systems properly installed. <laughs> yeah. Or just simply add wings, engines, and avionics, and you can call it a jet. No. Fuel geometry, control rod worth, and coolant chemistry involve thousands of nuclear thermal hydraulic calculations. If you're feeling fancy, you can also construct these giant cooling towers. That part is more or less right. Those are optional. After all, they're just heat rejection systems. You can use a cooling pond if you don't want to build these. And this all depends on your site selection and licensing, as well as your heat loading of your reactor. Next, you're going to install the reactor's control systems, like sensors, control panels, and computers. This will manage lots of stuff like temperature, pressure, and power output. Reactors use diverse, redundant, fail-safe control system with independent power and physical separation. Lastly, all you gotta do is turn that puppy on and you got yourself some free- <laughs> <laughs> no. Initial criticality is one of the most carefully managed and regulated events in all of nuclear engineering. Done over several weeks with millimeter scale control rod movements for the first time. After all, the first time is always the hardest. Energy. Now the core of this reactor might be unstable the first time you run it. So if that's the case, you've already failed catastrophically. A properly designed reactor is inherently stable. Startup jitters is not a thing. Make sure to have a Geiger counter somewhere nearby. Like and subscribe. A Geiger counter is a radiation detector. It is not a safety system. Radiation protection relies on shielding, containment, and design, not hearing clicky noises.